if you take out everything but the phone calls, you can survive. Mm. Right? But if you do everything but make the phone calls, you're dead in the water. So, you know, and we have a, a lot of, you know, we talk marketing a lot on this podcast. It's really easy, really fun, really sexy to talk about chat bots and automation and, and lead gen and, and things like that that are, that are hot button issues and Alexa skills. And don't get me wrong, that stuff's important. But we had a guy on this podcast, the podcast before you, Troy Thompson, who is a very, very, very successful insurance agency owner who literally knocks on doors every day. So to segue into, talk about the importance of cold calling in 2018. Because I know you're a big, big proponent of that, big fan of that. I think it's the only way to really exponentially grow, Mm. period. Yeah. I mean, you know, the same reason why technology is not going to replace insurance agents or real estate agents is because of the voice to voice that has Mm -hmm. to happen. The voice to voice is what technology can't or hasn't figured out yet, you know? Um, And so there's really no way. So, so the voice to voice, that's where the relationship, when they hear you and your, your personalities, you know, just, it just feels right. Mm-hmm. That's where the magic happens. Mm-hmm. Not uh, an automated email, not right. a Facebook ad, yeah. not a Instagram post. Um, yeah. All that stuff is branding you, mm-hmm. right? For mm-hmm. when you do finally talk to them, and then exactly. they feel like, ah, oh, I kind of know this guy because exactly. I saw him on Instagram. Now I'm talking to him. Now I'm putting the voice with the face. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. you were getting somewhere. And too many people are relying just on the social media just on the, right. the, the, the advertisements. They help each other. It's it's a facet that, that helps. The problem is they're leaning too much on... Right. On, see, you, you, if you take out everything but the phone calls, you can survive, mm. right? But if you do everything but make the phone calls, you're dead in the water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless you're talking out... A lot of people think phone calls and they're scared to death. Right. A, you're not you're scared of something that you don't even know what you're scared of. Right. You know, when people say I'm scared to make calls, I say, Well, what exactly are you scared of? And they don't say they can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Now they might say, Well, what if they ask me a question I don't know? Or what if they, you know, hang up on me and all this stuff? That you're assuming what's gonna happen there. Mm -hmm. You can't go on anything assuming and B, nobody's gonna expect you to know everything about the universe, dude. There's a lot of agents out there that know way more than I do in my market Mm -hmm. as far as like about the properties and all this and all that. I don't know half the stuff that they know, but I'm confident they're focused on what questions they're going to be asked and if they're going to hang up and what they need to be focusing on is, is how can I connect with this person and help them? Mm -hmm. Right. And that would, that would boost their confidence that the fact they're looking at it wrong, you know? So if you take out everything, but the calls, I, I went all the way to 2016 with no social media. I did 100 deals a year in 14, 15, 16. January 17 was the year I started doing social media, last wow. January. Um, didn't need it. Yeah. Didn't need Why it. Why would you need that? Yeah. I, I created relationships. I used email to nurture the relationships. Yeah. And I, I killed it. 